Hello, hello, and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. I'm here to do the Virgo general love reading. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in and all your support to the channel so far. I really appreciate it. And if you're brand new to the channel, then you're very welcome. Thank you so much for being here. So this is uh, for Virgo in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cross watchers, you're also very welcome. But please bear in mind, it might not be your Virgo that I'm talking to, so and please don't get offended by any messages uh, meant for Virgo. Um, so otherwise, it is a general love reading. So it's not gonna resonate with every Virgo out there. Um, and as it is a general reading, you might find that some parts resonate and others don't. So just take what is useful. Uh, well, I hope there will be some useful parts that will resonate for you, or at least enjoyable. Uh, da, da, da. What else, Virgo? So um, just to let you know, this is my April reading in terms of when I'm recording this but it is really for whenever you come across the video and in terms of when I do the spread I normally finish with what's happening for you this month changing it up just to clarify it's going to be what is happening for you and your person of interest in the near future so this could be playing out for you whenever you see this video you know in the coming weeks uh, in the month from when you see it so don't fixate too much on it happening in April because I do put the videos up throughout the month so just wanted to make that clear so no one feels um, shortchanged if their video goes up at the end of the month so anyway I'm going to get some general messages for you first come on sorry get my dog to come and sit down. Uh, general messages for you first, then we'll go into a full and detailed spread for you Virgos. So for my lovely Virgos in love, please. Let me get some messages first. For Virgo, some messages. For Virgo in love, what is going on? What do we need to know? Thank you. Okay, interesting. Oh, let me get a few more for Virgo, please. Hmm. Yeah, a few more for Virgo. Thank you. A couple more. Lovely. Perfect. So let's see. Ah, interesting. Okay. So from what we've got so far, we've got the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, that was the first card that came out, the World, Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Wands, and the Magician. So I have to say, when I saw that World card, I thought maybe this is dealing with something where there's like a chapter that you either feel like is coming to an end or has already something that you have closure on um, and that has something that's, that's run its course. And with that Ten of Swords, um, yeah, this could have been something that is very painful indeed. I mean, it's certainly with the that particular Ten of Swords, it's talking about a very painful ending. And now with this, I see that you may be therefore in quite like a protective guarded mode, maybe holding back, maybe trying to, um, not wanting to be vulnerable at this time, uh, wanting to protect yourself from any more emotional hurt from someone. Now we've got this Knight of Wands. So you could have been dealing with someone who was inconsistent, maybe in and out of your life, um, maybe things never seem to get off the ground with this person um, because of their kind of lack of stability in the connection. Now the Knight of Wands also talks about someone who's very passionate and uh, really goes after what they want, is led by their desires, their impulses. Um, so I do get the sense with the magician here that someone might be trying to um, make something happen with you again, Virgo. Uh, potentially the world also talks about cycles. So I, maybe you feel like you, this has come around and you know, you've know you been through this before with this person, then it may be that they're coming back in trying to make something happen with you again. Uh, but this time you're feeling more guarded about your heart um, and not so open because you don't want, you're kind of maybe, uh, are really hurt by how things have been left and seeming to have ended in the past. Um, and yeah, at the bottom of the deck now we have the Four of Cups. So this for me always seems to come up with that, well, very often comes up with that Knight of Wands when I'm sort of picking up on this kind of uh, story. So this is someone who potentially, um, I kind of get a sense that maybe one minute they were giving you attention and then next minute they were, you know, gone again effectively because they were giving attention to their other interests or you know as in 
um, other people showing them attention, you know, make it, maybe, maybe you're dealing with someone who does get a lot of attention, has offers, has people even throwing themselves at them, and uh, you know, they, their attention was drawn away from you, um, and but you know, and then the next minute their attention will be back on you again. I, that's kind of what I'm getting. The Four of Cups um, can certainly talk about feeling rejected, but that's more what I'm getting. It's kind of like someone who one minute they would give you their attention, then the next minute they were gone again because they were, you know, um, busy getting an, a new ego hit from somebody else. So let's carry on. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for my Virgo? Why is, thank you. <laughs> judgment. So this judgment card can certainly talk about uh, like a resurrection. Uh, something coming, trying again to come back to life uh, that, I mean, it's a very decisive moment or certainly it can be that you may have had some sort of breakthrough. Uh, as I was saying that you may have been having um, cycles with this person and now suddenly you're breaking the pattern is what I'm getting of maybe of how things have kept playing out with this person. I'm with this judgment card, I'm kind of you may have had a realization of some sort and be making even a judgment call about this situation um, to go into like more of a protective mode. Oh, sorry, it's just flipped whilst I was about to start shuffling. So we've got the five of wands here. Uh, now, certainly it can talk about conflict, but it's, it's also there being too many people in the, on the, too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people involved. Um, there being competition could have been competition for this person's attention. Um, it could be that also this person, you, you may have made a decision that this person brings too much inner conflict into your life um, from their inconsistent behavior. Um, so why is the world card, whoa, sorry, that's explosive, but that's main, I think that's me dropping it. Hold on, came out. Yeah, let me, um, Okay, this is what came out, but it's rather a lot. So I'm going to show you and then I'm going to shuffle it again. So we've got the chariot, the queen of pentacles, six of swords, the lovers, knight of swords and the five of pentacles. Now that's a lot, but this is, it, I feel like it's because this is kind of trying to sum up um, the kind of cycle that you've been on with this person. So what I'm seeing is that there's someone wanting victory and uh, seeming things seeming to move forward with this person. You m may feel like you're actually getting somewhere, you're making progress, you're overcoming uh, maybe some sort of obstacle that there was in the past. There you are with the Queen of Pentacles, your energy Virgo. Um, you may feel like you can actually nurture this, that there is um, potential for growth, maybe even uh, you're moving, you feel, you, you felt like you were moving towards commitment with this person. You, you, the, the lover's card, there is a strong romantic bond between the two of you, an undeniable uh, chemistry, certainly. Um, but the thing is, yeah, Knight of Swords. Um, well, here I have to say that this could have been that someone said something quite sharp, quite blunt or um, unexpected to the other person and then suddenly you're left out in the cold. Um, now, if it's not something that, you know, it comes around again and again this could just have been um how this played out with this person that that made you feel like this has actually come to an end that this has reached its completion uh, because someone said something very harsh and then all of a sudden someone was cut off iced out um and that, so but let's see i'm gonna pop those back in because that's way too much for one card uh, so can we just clarify the world please with one card please if you had to pick <laughs> my guides uh, please just pick one for the world can you get clarification please thank you interesting king of wands so that is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius again it is um, certainly a level up from the knight of wands um, and yeah, this it could have been someone you were dealing with a fire sign, not necessarily Virgo, but um, it's also speaking about the King of Wands knows what they want and takes action to go after it. Uh, it could also be that you're, um, you might have a new person on the scene, um, which is why this is kind of feeling even more like whatever you were dealing with previously has ended and is, is you're gaining, gaining some sort of closure. Uh, potentially because the, of the, what's this king of wands about please Let me get another one for Virgo please on the king of wands 
Thank you. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Now, see, this is the thing. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment. It's family, it's success. Um, so it's a very different energy to what I was picking up on here, which is something that um, came to an end because of someone's, you know, flighty, uh, inconsistent, you know, purely in, in it for the physical kind of behavior. So it may be that um, you've actually started a new chapter with someone else who is, seems almost like a level up from who from what you were dealing with before, if that makes sense. It may be something that you've manifested by deciding you know, what you want and that this kind of whatever was going on in the past en ended up just hurting you and kind of putting, um, even just getting some uh, mental closure on it, even if, uh, even if this person's still trying to come back into your energy, because it may be now that someone, you have someone else on the scene who is actually, uh, you know, interested in the long-term stable, this is heavy stability, do you know what I mean? And in the past, and another 10, I have to say, in the past you were dealing with someone completely inconsistent. I do feel that that is why you're, you're guarding your heart because of what happened in the past. Um, you're feeling more vulnerable because of being hurt or being let down by this person. But it may be that there is that cycle with that person that is ending and there's a new one beginning with somebody else, but um, you may have to make a decision because this five of wands could actually be representing the competition over you, Virgo, between this this previous person you were dealing with and someone new or just someone else. So why is the Ten of Swords here, please, for Virgo? The Six of Cups. Yeah, exactly. So whoever you had the ending with, it was very painful or it seemed to come to an end. They were, you know, in and out of your life uh, when it pleased them and uh, when they wanted you to give them attention, when they had time for you between their other um, people giving them attention, they are going to basically attempt to come back in, as I was saying, come back around, uh, go after you, get, you get your attention again, and maybe come back in with some sort of apology, some sort of gesture. Uh, so why is the Knight of Wands here, please, for Virgo? Could have been, you know, obviously, suddenly something someone went very cold someone said something very uh, bluntly or someone just seemed to like cut you out uh, and left you out in the cold and you know that now they're wanting to come back in and um, so why is the knight of wands here please for virgo why is the knight of wands here for virgo thank you the six of pentacles interesting another six now <laughs> This is someone uh, wanting to give to a situation, wanting to reciprocate. Certainly, I mean, the Six of Pentacles has so many different meanings depending on the situation, but I'm also kind of picking up that this person was breadcrumbing you. Do you remember what I was saying about that Four of Cups? I was kind of getting the feeling of, you know, they would give you their attention and then they suddenly be gone and because they'd be busy feeding the other cups. Uh, this is kind of what I'm getting. It's just a little, um, pentacle that this cat bug is giving but all of these other bugs have you know each the same share and that's five I'm not saying your person was dealing with five people but it's just like they would give a little bit to you and then they would go and give a little bit to somebody else etc etc so yeah that's what you were dealing with with this person no wonder you are now feeling um, wounded by it so why is the magician here please for Virgo why is the magician here for Virgo? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. I have to say, if this, it's either, as I was saying, that you've actually manifested um, two options that you're going to have to make a choice between. It. I'm not saying this is your fault, Virgo, you've manifested this, no, but for some of you, as I was saying, by deciding that whatever you were dealing with was um, not, uh, you know, okay, that you weren't going to accept it anymore, you changed this the you broke the repetitive cycle you changed the situation you changed the the name of the game here and now you basically um you have created a reality for yourself in a good way um of there's someone entering the scene here who is such a step up from the um 
the low vibrational energy of the person you were dealing with before let's put it that way i'm not saying they're a bad person but they're definitely operating in a low vibration and i feel like you're you now have someone uh, uh, as i said a step up coming on the ground who wants long term with you but with this two of pentacles this is talking about needing to weigh up um some sort of big decision and i feel like it's between this um person you were dealing with in the past who was inconsistent coming back in and um, the another opportunity was someone who wants something far more stable with you um, yeah so that is kind of what I'm going to see at the bottom of the deck we have temperance so Sagittarius for some of you the, um, the king of wands could have certainly been talking about a Sagittarius that maybe you've recently met or recently you know connected with it doesn't have to be but the temperance card is also needing to go with the flow and uh, it's actually kind of for me it's a very um direct in contrast kind of energy to that knight of wands which is all about impulse the temperance card is actually tempering those um more animalistic <laughs> urges if you like um finding balance within ourselves um finding um in a, in a sense of inner peace which allows us to allow things to flow you know what is for us to flow to us and what is not for us to flow past us if you see what I mean it's being in a very centered place and uh, yeah I feel like you may have also um, taken a bit of a time out maybe done started to look after yourself more Virgo and find some um, sense of balance which is, is also talking about with this two of pentacles um, and I think you are achieving that here with that temperance card coming up. So let's, that's just your starting messages, goodness. Uh, we're gonna go into the spread now for you. Let me just give this a quick shuffle because I used it just then. I'll come back to that deck. So in the spread itself, I'm gonna be asking 12 questions about you and the person that you have on your mind whilst watching this video so for some of you that could be more I was going to say it could be more the new person or it could be more the previous person but to be honest I don't know it's it's either going to be one or the other that probably comes through the strongest so um, let's see it's the person you have on your mind and if this isn't what comes out isn't resonating then it might not be your reading you might just want to check out your other placements oh and I forgot to say at the beginning so my, I don't want to make my ramble too long um please do leave me a comment if it resonates let me know that'd be lovely or if you just enjoy it hit me the like um, the like button that would be amazing i'm going to be doing a bonus love reading again this month for whichever sign gets the most likes and do subscribe as well that'd be absolutely wonderful it means so much to me um so for my Virgo, can we get the top 12 cards for Virgo, please? Virgo and, and their person in love. Nope. Okay, whoa, whoa, or not, all right. Okay, let's try that again. So, mm-hmm. Oh, this is the past person. Okay. Big time. Mm -hmm. There's that King of Wands again. Interesting. Could all, all be the same person. It could be that maybe now they actually want to level up and want some stability with you. I mean, it's quite early into the spread that I'm saying that, but uh, it, for some of you, it's not a choice between two. It's just a choice about all about this person. Okay. Let's see what's going on the world again oh two aces so far Virgo interesting yeah all right so at the bottom of this deck we have the eight of cups so certainly this is talking about um, turning your back on um, emotions that haven't some a situation where you haven't been emotionally fulfilled um, trying to maybe um, get some separate like disconnect from something maybe that you had had a lot of hopes and it you know growing emotions for certainly if we saw that lovers card earlier come out um it's trying to turn your back on all of that because they're you know essentially the two cups were missing to actually have 
um, the full attainment of happiness. You know, there was something lacking in the connection. It's, it is with a heavy heart that you turn your back on those eight cups I'm getting, but um, it's, think, it's also this person in this particular eight of cups hasn't actually walked away yet, but they are really um, thinking about it. It could also be talking about the person actually turning their back on you emotionally in the past. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. We've got the four of cups underneath there as well. Absolutely, this could actually be talking about what you were dealing with, Virgo, as, as well. Now, bearing in mind everything I'm saying, reverse the roles, the energy is fluid in tarot. So I could be saying, uh, this is how you feel and that's how they feel. And it's you feel it's the other way around, just flip it. It's no problem. So with this four of cups and the eight of cups, I feel that this is someone who really... We already saw the Four of Cups earlier, but I was getting they really ignored an opportunity um, which had real integrity, which had the potential to go somewhere. Um, they probably turned their back on you, uh, as we saw that Five of Pentacles kind of left you out in the cold, left you feeling rejected, ignored. Um, so let's see what is going on. And there's that Knight of Swords again, we saw briefly. Um, so yeah, someone could have said something very cold and or just gone very cold. I really feel like they just cut you off uh, and by which I mean cut off communication or said something to you very bluntly and um, seemed to cut you out of their life almost all of a sudden it was um, and yeah I feel like you had really good intentions here Virgo with this person only only good intentions uh, you really cared about them uh, you were open to be vulnerable with them to offer your emotion and you got burnt uh, basically as a result so or you feel burnt at the moment at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords so this is someone very much stuck in their head um thinking that there's no way forward doing a lot of overthinking as well and um, and but it is like a prison of thought um of their own making i mean they are free to release themselves from this at any point, but someone may be keeping themselves stuck or it is kind of, it may be that you felt stuck over this person or it could be that this person is now stuck thinking about you. Let's see, let us see. Okay, we've got the Empress next to us. So this is beautiful Venus energy, also uh, can, be, can be Taurus and Libra, but essentially it is someone who is exuding absolute beauty and uh, love and it just really stands head and shoulders above all other options so it could be here i'm getting virgo that potentially you have kind of pulled your energy back as i said broken the cycle of and accepted that you and not accepted acknowledged that you deserved more than how you were being treated by this person and their inconsistency as a result um you have kind of uh leveled up your own energy because you have acknowledged your own worth and that as a result has made this person i feel really start to um get up in their head thinking that maybe they have missed an opportunity with someone who you know is head and shoulders above any of their other you know meager mi minor options that they may have been giving attention to so let's see uh, yeah, the hanged man. So some Pisces energy here, but um, essentially the hand, hanged man tells me that uh, either this person, as I said, is having a has their perspective on you may have changed, Virgo. It's almost like they're seeing you in a new light. Is what I'm getting. Um, they may feel like you have um, you you've become more attractive to them because you have. Uh, started to acknowledge your own worth is kind of what I'm getting. I mean, the hangman talks about a situation which was left in limbo in some way. So maybe for some of you, it just, um, there wasn't an official ending as such, but you feel like, this is what I was getting, like you felt like you needed to make the decision yourself to have that mental closure, to actually set yourself free from this um, because it seemed to have just ended in a painful way but maybe for that your person here virgo felt more like it was just left as unfinished business anyway so let's get the next layer and then i'll go through everything so this is for virgo please let me clarify the same spread for my virgos for virgo and the person that they're here for in love Let me clarify with the top 12 cards, please. For my 
of Virgos with the top 12 cards. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oof. Oh my goodness. There's that Knight of Wands again. Interesting what it's paired with though. Okay, the chariot. Mm -hmm. The King of Wands, again, the second time on the spread, I actually do feel, that we're talking about all one person here, Virgo, uh, for most of you. Yeah, they're really, they are really kicking themselves. Hmm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, at the bottom of this deck now we have the Knight of Cups. So is there certainly someone who uh, is basically fallen in love? Now, it could very much be that you, this particular Knight of Cups, they're actually not expressing the emotion. They're actually just, um, they know that they are in love with someone. They know that they have true, as I, I think I said earlier with that four of cups, you had real honest, good intentions to love and care about this person. But this particular Knight of Cups talks about someone who um, is alone, loving someone from afar, and is almost just going to uh, allow them to almost be like swept away by their feelings. And uh, how, do I, how do I explain this? It's kind of like they're not making some sort of um, it's not like a verbal, like showy, like Casanova, like romance kind of thing. It's more like a, um, it's resigned to the fact that you may well be in love with this person, but you're just going to let them live their life, even maybe wish them well, but, you know, accept that you cannot express this with, between each other. So let's see what's going on behind. Okay. Wow, behind that we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this, I, I do feel like this is someone that has, maybe their feelings have grown for you. Uh, Virgo is kind of what I'm getting. And they want to now, there's gonna be a new opportunity for a new beginning with them. And, but this time it, there is an element of stability, let's put it that way. Um, there it may be some sort of offer of stability. I'm not saying that it's definitely actually going to materialize um, because uh, I don't want to say that just yet. So, um, but there is an offer about something that's going to seem more stable than maybe what you, you had before with them. Um, it could also be someone wanting to offer a gift of some sort. Oh my gosh. Behind that, we've got the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands on the spread already. Virgo. So you've got all four aces and it's relatively near the beginning of this reading. Um, but yeah, the Ace of Cups is, it's a new beginning in love, um, but it's also, it can speak about a renewal of an existing connection, but it's a new beginning. It's interesting because I feel like you have kind of just decided that this is over uh, and that as far as you're concerned, this is done. Um, not that you're happy about it, but you feel like, you know, this person has maybe ended things with you, but there is a new opportunity on the horizon here. It, it, it may be that this person's feelings have grown for you uh, as you have kind of, you know, maybe with distance, maybe they are they're clearly regretting whatever has gone down between the two of you previously. So let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, oh my gosh. It's funny because I was actually picturing this card when I was talking about this Knight of Cups because I was thinking this is not the, the Nine of Cups in this deck where you see there's like two people in like, not only, you know, this is kind of for me, it's like one person in love, but just standing off at a, at, in a distance. Um, this is two people being together in that love, in that romance, in that enjoying each other's company, you know, um, the happiness, the um, passion, the, um, you know, this is being at home together, um, eating like good food and drinking wine and laughing and etc. cetera. Um, so this is, this is beautiful. This is like wish fulfillment here with that nine of cups as well. But I definitely get more that um, two people actually being together in this sense. So it may be that this is someone that you did have feelings for, but you were just kind of resigned to, well, you're just gonna have to like, maybe even let let it go. Uh, and now all of this, there's this, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I just moved the third um, card. 
uh, just as I was talking, and behind it is the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Three aces, pentacle, cup, wand, one after the other, next to each other. I just shuffled this heavily. Uh, so I feel like essentially that all of a sudden there's going to be a new beginning with this person or um, a new chapter starting. Um, and it's going to actually be the two of you, oh, sorry, um, being in that uh, heady, beautiful cocktail of romance um, together rather than just one person feeling it on their own. Wow. So next to that, we have the Empress in exactly the same position as she was at the bottom of the first deck. So this is it. Someone I feel like really feels a lot of love or, or is extremely... Uh, I, I'm kind of getting like enamoured by you, Virgo. Like really feels like you are um, really beautiful. I'm, I'm just getting. And that you're very kind. You have a good heart. And you're there's a certain... Uh, opportunity and element here of there's the potential for growth and still there's the potential for I feel like um, maybe someone feels like you will forgive them and there will there is the opportunity for um, abundance and growth in the situation again um, so what's next oh, but in, there's the thing is the two of swords so I'm sorry I, I don't normally do four and I, because my readings are long enough as it is but look, look what was the next card, the Emperor. I mean, the Emperor and the Empress and what is separating them? The Two of Swords. This is an element of um, stalemate, I have to say. It could be, it could also be like some sort of decision that someone needed to make. Um, and maybe between, as we saw that your person may, might have, um, may have had other offers or people in their energy or um, opportunities and they may have been trying to avoid making some sort of decision previously but I, the way it's between the divine masculine and feminine here what this is a very strong connection by the way Virgo um, it may have been some sort of uh, stalemate I think as I said already it may have been something that happened and then neither of you wanted to um, come out of your respective corners and really actually tell each other how you still felt about each other um so now this i would normally say with the emperor and the empress may suggest a marriage but i really don't wasn't getting that um from what we've seen so far but it i feel like it's more just talking about very strong uh connections but let's carry on so how you feel about them virgo uh you may feel like you've as i said had some sort of realization um, as we, with that judgment card that we saw at the beginning so you may have um, you may feel like you have some sort of truth to tell them or um, something that you something you want to have some sort of honest conversation with them um, but I'm getting more like you've you've had uh, you've realized some sort of truth is how you feel you maybe you feel more clear and um, about them as well and the fact that it's with this five of pentacles you may feel now you've had that kind of um stark dawning like realization that this person has been very cold and unsupportive to you and has left you out in the cold essentially which is what i saw briefly there at the beginning um for others of you you may feel like you need to say something to them and speak your truth um, but yeah, you feel, essentially you feel, um, unsupported, unappreciated, ignored. This to me is, the, the, this character is essentially that one in the four of cups that you might not see holding out the cup and the offer and being completely ignored and disregarded. And here, the five of pentacles, you feel like you may have been trying to keep the flame alive, um, inside your heart for this person, but you've now you feel like even i'm getting that it's been like quite a hard truth to recognize maybe that this person wasn't treating you right now how they feel about you uh yeah they feel like they've messed up uh with the five of cups it's here, here twice in the spread um they feel regret and disappointment in themselves for how they've treated you um they feel like they they've messed things up now it's interesting because um on the five of cups to here he's looking down at these three cups 
that are at his feet that have spilled on the ground and are empty and he's just thinking about you know how this is so disappointing the two cups the actual soulmate connection the two of cups stands for is behind him i feel like he, this person Virgo basically turned their back on you as I said to focus on you know their other people in their inbox if you like or whatever or um, in their space who giving them attention and all and here are the three cups by the way uh, and this is kind of like friends having fun very light-hearted uh, and it's also the three cups that we saw in the four of cups card at the beginning this, the what drew their attention away and now all those cups have, have spilled out and they're empty there was nothing in them and they've turned their back on the connection where there was actually something so otherwise they may feel like they want to see you again they may feel like they want to um, ha have your attention I know it's not it's not really an attention card but they may want to have fun with you again to hang out with you again they may be missing you is kind of what I'm getting as well it's interesting because the five and the three of cups, you know, add them together and you get the eight of cups. So this is what I'm saying. They, they feel like they totally screwed up. They turned their back and their emotions on the soulmate connection. So how they see you, they see you as their happiness with the sun. They see that you may, when you are together, they may feel like they're just lit up. Um, like you, um, almost bring out the best in them is kind of what I'm getting um, but they see you maybe also as actually in your life they may see that you are actually doing very well they may can perceive you as being very happy without them they may see that there is now competition for you for some of you with that five of wands um, because as I said this came at the beginning this does talk about competition and for some of you maybe you do have other suitors um, because they see that you're like this magnetic individual that others would be fighting over that's kind of how they're perceiving you Virgo so what happened in the past we have this Aries energy with the Emperor and the nine of swords so uh, certainly there was a there was someone and I feel like it's the person you're dealing with Virgo um, because you're coming through quite strongly as the Empress so your counterpart here again uh, we've seen the Emperor and the Empress twice now um, was basically very stubborn, wanted everything their way, uh, was maybe very used to get to just doing things their way and uh, their way or the highway kind of thing, being quite controlling. Uh, but it's an interesting combination because the emperor, I'm what I'm getting is um, the image of a swan. Uh, you know the whole thing of like the swan when it, it glides across the lake, it looks so serene and, and elegant and like it's unfazed. Um, but underneath its legs are like blah, 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 and like um, scrabbling to like but at the t if you just saw it from the top it's like mm, graceful I am a swan underneath blah, blah, blah. Um, so that is what I'm getting that you person you may have been dealing with the past may have come across as having a very um, together kind of attitude demeanor and very in control and uh, maybe almost seeing to you seeming to you quite stoic quite um uh, in charge, you know, got everything in their life together, but there was a lot of um, anxiousness, fear, uh, you know, concern, uh, really torturing themselves about some sort of decision, a lot of um, thinking and thinking and thinking about something and tormented even by thoughts. So I'll dig into that with the third layer and see what that was about. Now in the current mutual energy, interestingly, we've got the 10 of pentacles and the knight of wands, which is, we saw both of these at the beginning, but they're quite contrasting because obviously the 10 of pentacles, as I said, is the long term and the knight of wands is absolutely not. The knight of wands is fly by night, uh, here one minute, gone the next, here for a good time, not a long time. And the 10 of pentacles is, <laughs> you could say the opposite but no it's supposed to it's definitely good as well as um uh, for the long term so it could be with this ten of pentacles that in the current mutual energy it could be that uh someone's fo focus could be you more on work or both of you could be focused on stability on finances and uh, that could be going very well in that area um now in terms of anything else it may be that the focus has shifted more into um wanting a loyal reliable companion 
uh, maybe even focused on family as well. Um, but the Knight of Wands in the current mutual energy t tells me that there's still that same lingering um, tendencies to act impulsively and uh, by, you know, mm, <laughs> I just had a, I can't say that what I just thought, but kind of uh, not being led by your brain, but being led by another body part. Let me just put it that way and try and keep it really PG. So um, what is, the, <laughs> and it's interesting because look at that, current mutual energy and what does this person wish uh, would happen in the connection Virgo uh, well they wished potentially I would say that they would level up and um, from the knight to the king um, you may definitely be dealing with an Aries some of you because we've got quite a lot of uh, examples of that but anyway with the chariot as well as this cancer energy this is taking charge and moving forward and getting over any obstacles and um, actually being victorious I have to say this is, this is telling me that they do want you very much uh, physically again. Uh, they want to be with you in a physical sense, either again if you have had that before or just otherwise for the, for the first time, let's say. Uh, it's kind of like they want to... Um, mm, how can I... What is the phrase like a frat boy would say? It's kind of like to... Uh, to get to get you basically I don't know how to say it. it's kind of like to get a victory and get what they want uh, and and that they want to take charge and, and move this forward um, but I am kind of getting a sense that it's because that right now they feel like they are going to not get what they want um, because they screwed up so if that makes any sense now what is the block or the challenge the seven of pentacles and the page of pentacles so the Seven of Pentacles can talk about someone who has been um, reflecting and thinking about whether they uh, or whether to actually take action. You see, this person's in this Seven of Pentacles. There, I think it's, I think it's called a hoe. I don't want to give that in terms of like the gardening tool. I don't know what it could be wrong, but anyway, it's like across his shoulders. He's not actually even doing any more work. He's just thinking about doing work. Um, so, and by which I mean working on. Pentacles, you know, putting more work and effort into a connection, a situation, it's it's procrastinating. And the page of pentacles is um, that offer. It's it's connected here. It's like, um, what is the block? Is it maybe someone has just been um, reflecting or thinking about whether to put work into it rather than actually reaching out with some sort of offer? Could be that for some of you. Um, I'm also kind of getting that... Uh, this Seven of Pentacles is kind of telling me that, uh, you know, reviewing all the hard work and effort put into something and seeing what you're getting out of it. It could also be the block here is that you may be thinking now about all the, the investment that you made to this connection and that you're actually just maybe still getting a page at the end of it rather than something more substantial. It's, it's still only like you're getting the bare minimum, even though I love the Page of Pentacles. It's just kind of what I'm getting. Uh, so... What is this person's intentions towards you, Virgo? Now, see how the Ten of Swords, we had that at the beginning, that is se something seemed to have ended between the two of you very painfully at that. This King of Wands uh, is actually also um, kind of like a phoenix. It has a phoenix element to it. Uh, it's also a peacock. It's like a peacock-phoenix combo. But anyway, the, which the phoenix element tells me it's like bringing something back to life. So, I've, um, But it is interesting that the king of wands is what they want to happen in the connection and their intention as well so that tells me that they feel like the power is in their hands to actually it, it not just that but the board is in their court to take action and their intention is to basically do so and maybe try and revive um what seemed to have ended with you so um what is it that you need to know about their current situation now there you go the eight of pentacles and the page of cups so their current situation is basically working on an offer now it could, it's interesting because the block and the challenge you see the seven and the page so it's almost like what they were offering so far with you wasn't really good enough as i said it wasn't well it, it maybe it, at first but then maybe they even think uh, sorry yeah that's just popped into my head they, they may be thinking that what they have to offer you isn't good enough they may be reviewing and thinking I, 
I don't, you know, because they are feeling such a deep sense of regret. They're like, what can I actually offer Virgo that is going to maybe entice them to uh, get bring this back from seeming like it's, it's past the point of no return? So uh, their current situation is really working to see if they can uh, create some sort of offer that will allow them to um, apologize to you successfully with that page of cups. Um, it's kind of like they want to back up their their reaching out, their apology, their emotional outreach with something that they can offer you. Remember, we saw that Ace of Pentacles as well as all the other aces. So yeah, they're definitely working on um, what they can offer you in their current situation. Now, the action they're most likely going to take towards you next. So we have the world and that five of cups again, just to tell how they're feeling about you. Uh, I do, in terms of the action they're going to take towards you, the world talks about, um, you know, I, I, we saw at the beginning, it's it's the closure of one cycle and it's the start of another. But the Five of Cups tells me that when this comes up in the action that they're going to take, we'll, we'll see what else comes up because sometimes it can be that they actually want to put an end to, uh, you know, to that sense of regret and disappointment and actually um, that turn it around if you like. But the only thing is I'm also getting that um, they may still be kind of, focused on that or um, cr not crying over spilt milk and that your connection wasn't significant I don't mean like that but kind of focusing on the negative which may um, make things move even slower uh, so let me get some more and your advice we have the ace of wands and the three of swords so uh, the ace of wands tells me that you know in terms of your advice there's going to be that opportunity for a new beginning and as I said it's certainly passionate and physical um, but it's with this three of swords it's it's kind of like I would rec recommend caution Virgo is all I'm going to say because this three of swords obviously talks about heartbreak and um, heartache anguish you know and also can talk about third party situation it can talk about uh, in this particular three of swords it's um you know someone is actually hiding something and the other person opening the the door and finding out and it's gonna it's like a lightning bolt to the heart and it's brutal so i want to get more but the first thing that popped into my head when i saw this together is kind of like to recommend caution that there's going to be this opportunity for more passion remember we've got the knight of wands in the current mutual energy the king of wands in what they want to happen as i said they want to have you again virgo they want to, to yeah have their victorious knight with you if we put it that way but it's kind of like the advice here would be cautious because if you go down that route again i i just be careful that you don't end up that it just that cycle actually you know you just managed to kind of almost make some sort of get some sort of clarity and realize that you deserve more and then this happens and then you're left in the same heartbreak or you'll fi you find out about something after so let's let me get another layer before i say anything else what's going to be happening between you in the near future we've got the seven of wands and two of cups so i when i first saw the seven of wands i was thinking maybe it could all still be that there might be some sort of pushback from you uh, if this person certainly looks like they're going to be coming back in in, in some way or another uh, or a bit um, you could be keeping them at arm's length feeling defensive and standing up for yourself after what has happened before but if that is the case i feel like the the connection is still so strong between the two of you that um they may persevere past your defenses let's put it that way um, with that beautiful two of cups there the chemistry is still going to be there just as strong some of you might be wondering if they came back towards you if you would still feel the same i do feel like you would still absolutely the connection is it's not gone anywhere in this d separation period but you may be feeling um more defensive and guarded towards them the other thing i can see is that someone actually uh, stepping up and deciding to fight for this because they realize that it is this you know for a, a they may think of it as another word but this is a soulmate connection and they need to actually stand up and fight for it um let me get your third layer and we'll go through everything one more time so for virgo please can we clarify again with the top oh hello with the queen of cups flying out there by the way Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Deeply in love, <laughs> the Queen of Cups. So let me clarify one more time, please. 
for my lovely Virgos. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just mm, wondering. I know this person is very aware that they've they've messed up, but it's almost like, have they changed though? That is my concern of what I can see, or is it more that they just want to get their way again? <laughs> yeah, they're definitely coming to communicate. <laughs> uh, eventually, let's see. Clarify with the top 12 cards for Virgo, please. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles as well, but okay oh yeah oh okay it's the knight of wands again there's that six of wands that flew out okay yep yep page of wands now mm-hmm Seven of Wands again, interesting. Oh yes, yeah, so, yeah, that is the world again. The f wow, my okay, no, that's good. That is good. But the Five of Cups again for a third time. But oh, that's interesting. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Wands for the fourth flipping time. So <laughs> for some of you, are definitely dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Could just someone be someone who is embodying the King of Wands energy, which is essentially someone very passionate, someone charismatic, very attracted to you Virgo, absolutely. Extremely physically attracted to you, they think you are beautiful and sexy is what I would say. Um, but yeah, also goes after what they want. Um, so let's carry on. Oh, look at that, we've got the King of Cups behind there. So this is, uh, we had the, actually had the Queen jump out whilst I was shuffling this deck, but the King is also Cancer Pisces Scorpio of course. Uh, now, the King of Cups is someone who loves very deeply and has very deep emotions, uh, certainly, and it's also quite ma emotionally mature as well. Now, interestingly, I don't know if this is the same person um, or if we're looking at uh, someone else who may be trying to catch your attention or you might have, be getting to know Virgo, but let's see what's going on. <laughs> The Four of Cups, yeah, it's, again. But this particular Four of Cups is more someone who's been left um, dejected and kind of in uh, apathetic about love at this point, kind of uh, been let down so many times and is now just kind of uh, bored of the game of love, if you see what I mean, like kind of has no longer feels so optimistic doesn't really feel pessimistic either it's just kind of like done with all of it right now and it's just maybe focusing on um little thing you know things in their life it's interesting i just noticed how she's actually dumping one cup out into others so it could also be you know like taking the offer that you had of of genuine feelings that you had for someone else and just kind of pouring it out into other things and i don't mean other people i mean other uh, pursuits, your hobbies, interests, maybe even work, kind of taking the the, um, the investment that you ha were happy and very genuinely offering to someone else and just taking that effort and energy elsewhere, but just to other, you know, activities, as I said. Um, I do feel like you may have a couple of suitors coming your way, Virgo, in the near future, if you don't already. One of them is definitely this past person. For some of you, I feel like you might have someone else who is also viewing you as a very um, special indeed. And they, they may be with this water sign energy. Um, I don't, I really don't feel like this is the same person, to be honest, because I'm not seeing anything else on the spread about them feeling uh, ex deep love for you. I feel like this is more uh, for some of you, you this may be actually connecting with a same-sex relationship, I have to say as well. It could have been um, that you were more embodying that King of Cups uh, and having such deep love for them and they were just focused on their the physical and, um, you know, their 
getting attention, their ego almost, um, but that's certainly not gonna be for all of you. So if it's not, just let that bit go. Um, I said that in another reading uh, because I was picking up on it in terms of it might have been uh, two ladies in a relationship together and someone was like, I'm, a lady was like, I'm not seeing another lady. I was like, okay, well, you, it's not for you then. <laughs> so anyway, um, but it's fine. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, which is talking about a lot of um, back and forth communication messages. So if it's not happening right now, I do feel like communication is coming in because they definitely want to communicate with you. I do, honestly, I feel like that it's, if it's not happening already, it's imminent. That, But I, for some of you, I feel like you're actually already talking to this person. Or they're trying to um, re-enter, maybe get back into your good books by starting up communication again. <laughs> We've got the Three of Swords here. So it may be because they are actually feeling um, anguish or heartache. But mm, let me see. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, th I mean, this is a burden. It may, the Three of Swords is certainly someone who feels heartbreak and deep sadness and regret. Um, <sighs> It, it, I'm almost getting like someone's, um, someone is now suffering because they were dealing with too many people, um, and not, this is not for someone you were in an established commitment with before, by the way, this is something that really never got off the ground, because this person was, um, yeah, involving too many people, there may have been third party situation, or four party situation I don't know um, but it kind of it was just um, it actually didn't go anywhere and it was it ended up being um, and just painful and um, and a burden is what I'm getting with this ten of wands as well it just it was just almost ended up just being a pain and their <laughs> pain in the neck for this person and also completely pointless um in terms they didn't go anywhere and now they're feeling the anguish and now they want to communicate with you again so how you're feeling about them virgo <laughs> yeah so we've got the seven of swords now so you feel like you can't necessarily trust them and i am kind of getting that feeling as i'm doing the spread as well uh now that could be just that i'm picking up on your energy and this person is actually trustworthy so we'll see but you you feel like you can't trust them you feel like they um, may have run away from the connection and left you out in the cold they may have ghosted you um you may feel like you've um also found something out with that ace of swords and the seven of swords combination you may have some of you found out that they were talking to other people or that they were sneaking around um and yeah you I've, i feel like i don't feel like you are your heart is like completely cold and iced over honestly i feel like it's more that you feel like a, you have been left out in the cold by this person. Um, and as much as it's been like a hard truth to swallow, um, you may have realized something about their behavior, which you really don't like, or, you know, is not acceptable. Now, how they feel about you is clarified by the Knight of Wands. So yeah, I, uh, both that they're very they feel very attracted to you as I said they feel like they want to come towards you and um, this particular knight of wands is actually someone who knows they're going to need to compromise and make some sort of offer so maybe for some of them they feel like they want to actually as I said see you again hang out with you go for drinks with you maybe have you over to their home and um, you know enjoy your company again and they feel that like maybe they they could do so by offering you some sort of gift or um, a gesture of some sort to have this with you. The other thing I'm kind of getting is that they also feel like their um, their player-like ways with you know the the options that they were entertaining has just left them disappointed, and they feel deep regret for um, the, their behaviour, if you like. That being said, I don't see them changing it, but um, they do. They yeah. They are still very, they feel very drawn towards you is what I'm getting. Now, how they see you is also the six of wands. So interesting, a couple of reasons. As I was saying with the sun, I, they were seeing you as someone very magnetic that really draws in attention of others and you know radiates beauty and uh, is just incredible that someone sees you as the sun. You're literally the light in the sky, Virgo. Um, but also the six of wands is they see your value 
Um, absolutely, they see your worth. They see that other people would be fighting over you, just as I said. Uh, see how all these people here are like looking up at that person on the Six of Wands. Uh, but interestingly, the other thing, this particular Six of Wands talks about someone coming forward with communication, with kind of like bridging the gap between um, two parties that are not communicating. But the other thing is, look how we've got the progression from the Five of Wands to the Six of Wands. They see you as... Um, someone that there are going to be other suitors for, that they are going to have competition for, and that they see that they want to basically, again, uh, this is a card of victory, they see that they, they, I'm, I'm getting that this person has a bit of an ego, <laughs> or they think quite highly of themselves, Virgo, because I'm going to gain that they see that they could basically make you uh, ignore everyone else and stop talking, you know, they could get you back, basically, by coming forward and it it's almost like they see that um if they did come forward to you again that uh, all those other people were just like distractions anyway they just they'd be gone <laughs> it's kind of what i don't i hope you know what i mean it's kind of like um they have confidence that they could uh they could just make you forget about anybody else who's trying to get your attention <laughs> if that makes sense so what happened in the past is clarified by the ace of cups so yeah I feel like this is that, that obviously there was a, an opportunity in the past between the two of you to have a very beautiful romantic connection or relationship even. This was the, something just beginning but it never got off the ground and you know why? Because the person you were dealing with was a control freak, wanted everything their way, they um, weren't allowing this to flow, they may have also been very um, holding back, keeping the power in their hands. Uh, holding back from uh, expressing feelings or, or allowing this connection to grow. Um, it, the Emperor actually, if you like, sets the framework and the Empress, uh, you know, the divine counterpart, that kind of yin and yang energy is the one who nurtures something and, and brings it to life and allows the growth and the beauty. But the Emperor just alone is just a, um, a very rigid, uh, you know, framework of rules and um, of, of control and in that uh, the, this beautiful ace of cups cannot actually bloom um, so I feel like but also as I was saying it's because this person had a lot of um, as much as they come off as this person who's so large and in charge if you like is actually full of um, insecurities of um, anxiety and maybe even anxious about where this was going to go with you this new beginning i feel like this again this this ace of cups is that um in that four of cups that we've seen so many times this is what you were offering them that was a genuine love and affection and uh, there was a beautiful opportunity here and this person kind of um was so withdrawn and um inflexible and that that was just you know just a lot of it just led to a lot of sleepless nights and, and wondering what, and you know feeling like it might go somewhere and then it eventually it didn't. Now in the current mutual energy, we've got uh, the page of wands and the knight of wands now, as well as the 10 of pentacles. So this is what I'm saying. You, you see how that we've got that king here, but it's not in the current mutual energy. So this is still this your um, person acting like the knight of wands, uh, and messaging you absolutely or getting in touch with you with that eight of wands we already saw trying to get things um get going again uh wanting your attention again wanting to get what they want with you again a page of wands and this extreme physical attraction um let me just i don't want to make this video too long but let me just get one clarifier and why is the ten of pentacles here please in the current mutual energy between virgo and their person can we just get a clarifier for the Ten of Pentacles, please? Thank you. Whoa. Okay. Oh, sorry. Anything else for the Ten of Pentacles? Anything else? Thank you so much. All right, actually, I'm just going to show you at the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Pentacles again. Let's see what else came out. Too many, but let's see. Oh, no, that makes sense. So, in the current mutual energy, <clears throat> we've got this, this person, Virgo, trying to re-enter your life, um, <laughs> trying to get things going again with you, all, still all about, um, uh, I'm getting like a flirtatious, um, 
fun. This person is fun to be around and probably funny and charismatic to communicate with. But that Ten of Pentacles is your focus um, right now in the this is thing is why it's such a contrasting energy and I asked you know why is it there with that those other cards and well, first of all we have the strength card card of Leo yes but definitely I it's just more about I feel like you are actually being very strong because you know what you want is actually to head towards the ten of pentacles you know you're an earth sign just like me you love uh, stability you want someone who you can rely on and that you could actually see a future with so with that strength card it's really holding back um we've got the four of swords so you may still be trying to um heal maybe even holding back from saying too much from this to this person and allowing it to um get back to where it was if you like because you don't feel like you can trust them anymore at this stage we've got the temperance card again which is really this is all a sense of uh, we saw that temperance at the beginning but uh, so more fire with the sagittarius again but it's definitely it's tempering your emotions as i said this is all you this is you uh not being impulsive um not saying too much holding holding back now and being strong being wiser and um you know not letting this person kind of unbalance you again probably focusing on your work as i was saying with that ten of pentacles you know focusing on uh your your home your family your success in your career uh because you do feel like there's an element of defeat here when it comes to this person uh because you you know of maybe how they ghosted you in the past and finally with that king of pentacles this certainly can be talking about you here virgo uh because it's your energy but i do also feel that it is um, that you are now looking for someone who's going to bring the King of Pentacles energy, not Knight of Wands energy, essentially. So uh, what they want to happen in the connection is the Six of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Six of Pentacles, sorry. Uh, so look, this Six of Pentacles to me, it's, it's, I never get breadcrumbing from this particular one. Uh, it is actually showing um, generosity and kindness um, to another Um it's not really reciproc about reciprocation either so they may um either they want to what they're wishing will happen is that they can actually take action and move this forward get their victory get what they want with you and i feel like to be honest it's for you to forgive them to be understanding and to show the kind of kindness and generosity that you did in the past now the block <laughs> not surprised uh, to see the sun here. I love the sun but this particular sun card for me is about someone who is is very much um all about themselves all about you know the light shining on them uh it's a definitely for me this sun card is about ego pride and also kind of being the center of attention and getting a lot of attention as well now it, I also feel like this could have been why for some of you this person's been procrastinating um about making some sort of offer um the, and the sun as a block as a challenge is is really it, it you might as well just have it like that i don't do reversals but this is telling me it's kind of like it is someone's ego and pride also getting in the way and also the need for them to get attention from others that has been like slowing them down about actually reaching out to you so what are their intentions it's clarified by the seven of wands so as i was saying what's going to be happening between you in the near future i did feel like it was them stepping up and probably um fighting for this connection in one way or another and here it is so that is their intention to actually bring this back to life it, they may also um kind of want to defend themselves slightly and i uh, by kind of explaining oh well i you know sorry that that happened i suddenly disappeared or i suddenly you know um so you know oh, sorry i haven't been in touch for a while but all this stuff happened in my life or i don't know uh, by the way i'm not seeing that anything major is going on in their life i'm just giving you as an example of something they might say to you to kind of defend themselves and actually fight to get this going again now what you need to know about their current situation is clarified by the world so um this to me yeah it is talking about something that's one chapter in their life coming to an end a new chapter beginning uh which is also remember the action they're going to take towards you next but um yeah I, in their current situation i do also it could be that they are um starting to realize that they are um essentially have a connection with you that they don't have with other people it may be that this is just showing how they feel like you are the their um in a way their counterpart that actually um 
they ha they have a sense of fulfillment when they are with you. This is a very strong sense of uh, yin and yang energy, certainly of like the um, complementing contrasts, and that the two of you work very well together. So it's almost like they are realizing that they are still feeling quite tied to you, and that you. D I don't want to say that they, they f they're, they're realizing that you complete them. I think that's a bit strong, but it's almost like that they understand that. Um, you work very well together and as a result they're trying to work on an offer to um, get you back if you like uh, so or to I also get like a sense of um, to um, get fruition of, of what they want so the action they're going to take towards you next is clarified by the five of cups on top of the five of cups the reason I said when I shuffled dealt this out is very good um, when two fives come out on top of it, me on top of this for me, it comes to a 10. You know what that means? Uh, a cycle, an ending, a com level, sense of completion. So I was wondering if, uh, when we saw the world card already with that five of cups, if this, as I think I said, is this talking about this time of regret and disappointment is actually coming to an end? Uh, and it's just been confirmed for me. So yes, the action they're gonna to take towards you next is basically to close the chapter where it was all, all about disappointment and regret. It's kind of like they want to leave what went wrong in the past and try and start afresh with you. Is the action they're gonna to take towards you next. I feel like they're probably already in touch and that is, so I can tell you now, that's where they're aiming to head towards. And your advice, interestingly, is clarified by the 10 of cups. So, I mean, be I would still be cautious because this person is still acting in that very, um, impulsive and wanting what they want and you know not to, I still can't see much stability to be honest but I do feel like more that the advice here is it's going to be a new opportunity of uh, for a new beginning with this person certainly um there may be a sense of healing from this heartbreak because this ten of cups is absolutely beautiful happiness and also it is like the rainbow after the storm I think there is even a storm in the background of this three of swords card so it's kind of like actually um, this painful time you you may be letting go of that and able to have a new beginning where you reach a beautiful, you know, the utter levels of happiness here with this person. I feel like you you previously had felt a lot of heartbreak with, with that Knight of Cups I was seeing of like feeling love for them but just uh, accepting that you're just gonna have to let it go kind of thing and then all of a sudden there's a new chapter starting so what's going to be happening between you in the near future very good as well clarified by the three of pentacles and you see how it's represented by kind of one group or one party coming to the other and actually being like yes I will put work into this I will invest into this I mean as I was saying I'm not seeing masses of stability but this is good it's kind of like um it's like the very start of someone uh, putting work into it. I don't feel like they were putting work into this before at all. It may have just been like um, a, or well, it, it may have been a bit like minimal, absolutely minimal in the past. And now this person is actually kind of stepping up, or acknowledging the connection, uh, fighting for it, and in the, knowing that they need to actually put work and effort into it. And hence, you know, in why in their current situation they are actually working on an offer, working on. Um, putting work and effort into this. So that is uh, what I've got for you here, Virgo. So tread cautiously is all I would say. Um, you know, trust your instincts and um, make sure this person follows up their passionate offers <laughs> for you with some something stable because, you know, we need that earth signs. So that's what I've got. I hope you enjoyed the video, Virgo. Thank you. Sorry, it's a long one again. Um, but thank you so much for if you're still here and for supporting the channel. It's absolutely amazing. Please do like the video. I'll do a bonus for whichever sign gets the most likes. Leave me a comment and subscribe. That'd be amazing. And I will speak to you soon. Have an amazing rest of April. Thanks, Virgo. Bye.